Hello and welcome to the Nation of Expert Gaming Videos. Today we shall be doing Tottenham Hotspur versus Norwich City. So, going in straight into this match, I believe there is only one or two players maybe um, that are on Tottenham's team that are brand new. Uh, they're not playing currently, but uh, they are on the bench. It is Dembele from Fulham and Corker from Swansea. Going on to the Norwich bench, I believe all of them are the same. I know they've got some kind of like minor players that I may not have known about. So I'm just quickly just having a quick look. Just making sure I haven't got anyone uh, mistaken. There's all the same people that I know. Um, yes, I know. Oh, they've got uh, Gerardo uh, from Man City, it seems. Basong from Tottenham, in fact. So obviously he's not on loan. They've actually brought him. So kicking off straight into this match. It is uh, a good match for Tottenham to try and get a bit of a winning streak going on again because they've not been doing entirely the best. They have lost and drew uh, at the minute and same with uh, Norwich City in fact. So going straight into this match, 45th minute in, there's really nothing being happening. Norwich got the best two chances of the game so far in Spurs. There's no really spark so they bring on Dembele in the 46th minute to try and kind of like spark up a bit of life in the team uh, for Sandra in fact then in the 56th nothing still Adebayor comes on for Singer Singerderson um, so just, just got a text unfortunately so I'm just quickly getting back to uh, this then Dembele in the 68th minute finally there is a goal in the match and this has came late in the game 68th minute Dembele gets a goal inside the box literally just round the keeper and it's a simple goal for a, a professional player he literally just tucks it away and is beautiful for him. Then, 75th minute, Norwich thinking, ah oh, crap, I need to do something. So they bring on Morrison for Jackson. Uh, the American striker comes off for the uh, for Morrison. Then in the 81st, Huddleston comes on for Defoe. And basically what they're trying to do, I'm guessing, is go into a more defensive kind of try and keep the lead. But in the 85th minute, Snodgrass equals it out with a lovely volley just inside the box. Holt and Martin doing very well to set him up. High ball, lovely volley, very controlled, and it just goes straight in. You can't really argue with it. Um, it is just a, a wonderful goal, um, and it equals him in the 85th, so it's quite late. Then, 87th minute, Bale gets booked for a stupid thing that I really don't like, and that is he threw the ball away as he thought it was a corner, and he gets a yellow card for it. There's, there's like, closer to a match ban for him. I think it's just very stupid to do that kind of stuff. But... He's got a yellow card. Uh, at least he never got a red uh, from like maybe like another yellow. So, 89th minute coin. You cannot believe it. But there is a red card. It is unbelievable. Norwich fans are off their seat. They are ready to try and get this last couple of minutes in. And Huddleston gets a yellow card. Apparently the replays show that the, uh, the kind of... Um, red card that he gave was a bit harsh. Maybe just a yellow. But it leaves, uh, it leaves Horson... Uh, on the floor needing treatment that's a Norwich player that he did the tackle on um, it, it needs a treatment so it's a bad challenge but um, it, the replays show that it was a tad harsh and maybe a red card was a bit a bit kind of like a bit harsh for him that, that's basically the word used really that's probably the best way to kind of uh, justify it and Hudson has only been on for eight minutes in fact so it's quite a bad substitution since though Dembele was an amazing substitution scored on his debut Unbelievable! Not as good as Fletcher though, scoring two, but he's it's it's all gone off with eight minutes in, and he has just got sent off straight away, and that is how the game ends. And really, there was well earned points from both sides. They both really needed that kind of point. They both really only had one point, so they needed another point each at least. So I think they're quite happy with that result. Tottenham maybe wanting more since they had 62 possession so it's quite quite difficult they had more shots on target by one they had five and uh, as you can tell Norwich had four uh, both had seven shots off corners Tottenham had four whereas Norwich only had two um, offsides there was no offsides from Norwich but four from Tottenham there was a yellow and a red only for Tottenham none for Swans uh, for Norwich sorry fouls there was fouls won 11 by um, Tottenham and seven by Norwich, the pass um, pass uh, succession, 86% for Tottenham and 74 for Norwich, so it shows that Tottenham did have quite a good chance. 
leaving both in the live table. They are both with two points. Uh, Norwich are 15th and Tottenham are 14th. Really just matters on goal difference. Since though Norwich are on minus five, whereas Tottenham are only on minus one. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment below. Remember to comment your opinion on what you thought of the game. Any um, like insight on that red card? Did you did you think it was or not? That is your decision. So comment that below, and I will see you next time and hopefully watching all of Alex's videos as well. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye.